Hi, my name is Donovan, aka Nuke Donovan, and welcome to the Nameless Journey Podcast, best podcast in my home. We have a great episode for you guys today. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce my guest. He has been on the podcast twice already. His name is Omar, the drummer himself, drummer boy. El, <laughs> el, el mm, and you already know who that is over there. That is my co-host Julian. El Chicken Wing Soldier, Soldier. aka <laughs> Pinguino, aka the one from the mountain, uh-huh. aka the water drinker, aka if you not like there's a lot of names. <laughs> aka Mr. Crush. <laughs> Crush. <laughs> <laughs> but uh it's not a whole lot of hot topics we got for you today. It's nothing crazy, but we do have something we do need to talk about. It's the most uh recent thing that's been happening which is the thing with sketch bro. man oh let's talk about it let's man. talk about it let's talk about it so as far as i know i'm okay hey sketch i still fuck with you obviously it was a past mistake that you did and whatever your sexuality is it's all cool mm-hmm. everybody that was his friends they're still his friends if i remembered yeah but the thing is the one problem i do have is a lot of people reacting to it like actually reacting to like his OF mm-hmm. which was oh. crazy oh yeah that was crazy I was like alright bro you don't have to do that thing is still active no I don't think so that's I think what I was just, like, like what pictures or some shit I don't, I don't know if it was active or not I didn't do my research on it yeah, I'm not doing my research I'm not doing my research on it I, I'm okay I have a lot of free time not doing that hmm. but as far as I know um, it's a really hard topic obviously especially mm-hmm. for him cause like imagine just you come in, you, you just started coming up. You were in a Fortnite commercial. Yeah. He was. Yeah, bro. and he was in a lot of stuff. He's already like, NFL draft. NFL. Exactly. He, he's been coming up so perfectly fine. And I, I support that guy. He's a funny dude. Naturally, just funny. Good person. And this comes up. You're human. Obviously, a lot of things you do in your past will come up sooner or later. No one's perfect. Yeah, no one's really perfect. It happened to me a couple, like, a couple months ago. Someone showed me that. I was like, oh, damn, I used to do that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I was like, dude, I'm so glad I've grown as a person. Yeah, so, bro. In all honesty, yeah, it's just, it's the one person I do got to mention, though, is a person that took their time to find it. That's what I'm saying. Hey, let's talk about that. What was the point, bro? Got deep into it. Yeah, bro got deep into it. And I guess the whole reason why he wanted to do it is because he said he wanted to be a journalist uh, when he got uh, when he got out of school or when he got into school. He mm-hmm. wanted to be a journalist. And basically, he said that you have to find a good story. So I guess he did a deep dive on sketch. But nobody was looking for any of that until you did that. And now people are like doing all of this stuff. You know, me personally, I think. Uh, sketch should take legal action because yeah. it's like you had no reason to be doing a deep dive on me and then exposing the truth that mm-hmm. um, I was trying to run away from for the longest time. Uh, this man could have lost his life because he said he was going to off himself yeah, due to that whole exactly. like thing that was happening. But and he had people in the house to be able to save him from yeah. like that situation. You that's know, all, that's why I gotta say like shout out his friends, mm-hmm. the like the face, the face house. Shout out to them for face sure. Thanks, Jinxie. All of them, you know. He woke up. He lived for like three days. Where you at? Or like, yeah. Mm-hmm. There was like a, a was going on. He was on his way to like a flight back home or something like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. he said if he was alone by himself at home, he would have ate a you know yeah, yeah. a pew pew. But yeah. I don't know why people want to do stuff like that or do a deep dive on somebody's life. I it, it wasn't necessary. Exactly. Honestly, you don't even know the man. You were just like. Oh, let's go find what he did in his past, knowing that he was an up and coming uh, streamer and one of the biggest streamers in the world at the time. You know, well, yeah. still is one of the biggest streamers, I'm gonna say. Yeah, and then with like this controversy now, like the one thing that I didn't really like was the way people reacted. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you've seen like comments before, like you've seen the comments, right? Bro, the it, comments it's, are it's ridiculous. Cruel, bro, it's cruel. Not bad. Yes, yeah, like, like bad, bad. They, like two homo. Like there's homophobic, then there's two homophobic. Mm-hmm. You feel me? There's like you like messing around. Like oh, that's 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 gay. That's suspect. You know, yeah. like you 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 guys are just like oh, I'm not supporting him because uh he did that in his yeah. past. Y'all still support dudes uh like Diddy that are doing like yeah. crazy stuff and getting exposed. Y'all support child predators, mm-hmm. man. T Nichols. There's a listen, listen. I'm gonna say this straight up. There's a difference between doing some guys, you know. He he did his gay stuff. He did all that to touching children. Yes, whole you're supporting people that are whole different concept. Okay? Doing stuff like that, bro. He was not touching anybody. No children, no nothing. He was just doing his own thing. Mm-hmm. Trying to get a side hustle. Other people, for instance, 
Dr. Disrespect. Yes, bro. Dr. Disrespect. Came out, he did do it. And y'all still support the bro. Mm-hmm. That's we, crazy. We talked man. about Dr. Disrespect in the 4th of July episode. Go check that out. But with the whole sketch thing, like I said, like they, y'all did the most with the whole comments. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I go to his live stream and I see him playing games on TikTok sometimes, y'all are commenting like uh, crazy stuff. And I also want to talk about the comments that drop him off. Bruce said, I don't know if you guys have seen that. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. I saw watching Bruce like probably, what, two years ago? Mm-hmm. It's because he was just starting to wall out. Yes, bro. And, he, and one thing I noticed, he's one of the Xbox. One of those <laughs> one of those things is that he's like one of those gaslight people, but he also makes situations about himself. It's like, what, like what, what are you even a part of? This? You're not a part of this. You're not a part of this. Why are you crying on stream? Yes, bro. You know what? Uh, drop him off, Bruce, kind of reminds me of Pretty Boy Fredo. Not like looks wise or anything like that, nah. but just his like yeah. mentality and mentality. his personality. He looks like a little like Eddie Murphy. Ah, uh-huh. he does. It's the mustache. It's the mustache and the chin. Yes, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. But like, I don't know why he made those comments to sketch. I don't know if you guys saw them. Uh, I saw him. I know. Uh, that just came up the video about him. Yeah, uh, on, on TikTok, uh, I saw a video. I didn't watch his live stream, but uh, he was saying some crazy comments about the whole sketch situation. Uh, he was like, it's in my A, brother, you know, like doing stuff like that, just making it like he's saying the what's up, brother type of like uh, lingo that Sketches says, mm. um, but also like mixing in like, uh, like homophobic like tactics, you know? Yeah, it's into it. It's foul. It's like, why are you oh, even doing the most like that, bro? It's not that serious. It's not the worst thing. Like, exactly. Done. Yeah. Yeah. He could have been. uh Touching children and touching being children. inappropriate like that, he could have uh, uh, been a woman beater. Like he yeah. could have done a bunch of other things, but he's not doing that. Another thing I want to include past. is that when shit was going on, like all oh, the sketch, was like, did he? What? What happened? Like, did he kill someone? Did he touch someone? Like, what was it? And then I found out it was just gay porn. I was like, bro, bro, bro did he bro did, did whatever he, he needed to do, yeah. and that's about it. But at the end of the day, he didn't do anything wrong. Exactly. You know, he said he was in a dark place in his life and he escaped that past. Yeah. But he knew that it was going to come out eventually. But at the end of the day, he's still good. Mm-hmm. It's like you're going to stop supporting somebody because of what they've done in their past. Basically. Yeah, I think in a stream when he announced it, like talking about it, like he was just calm about it. He wasn't like too panicked about it. Like, he was like saying like, yeah, I did those things, but he's learning from it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and he's, he's a, not doing it no more. Yeah, so no, no, like, no. He's doing it himself. Like he's he's he found his way. He found his true self now. Mm-hmm. As I said, like everyone goes through a dark time. Every human does too. There's yeah. never a moment throughout your life where there's gonna be a phase where you do the most craziest stuff, mm-hmm. and you will regret it later on. But it gives you a life lesson to learn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In this case, Sketch's thing was was that. Yeah, and Sketch, he is, uh, I learned that he's a believer of God. He's a yeah. God-fearing man. But obviously, we all sin and we all have our past that we've dealt with. But at the end of the day, if we struggle with that stuff, we need to get help. I think we talked about this uh, podcast a little while back when we had our guest Tommy come on. Uh, he said that basically, uh, if we're sick, we need to go to the doctor. Jesus is our doctor. And that's basically how we recover is by going through jesus you know so obviously he recovered uh from like what he was doing back then he said that he was dealing with addiction problems but like look at where he's at now he's doing way better he's moving well Mm -hmm. he's having fun he's being able to do the things that he actually loves you know and not do the stuff that he was struggling with back then Mm -hmm. why are we hating on somebody and beating them up because of their past yeah that wasn't even bad I like that, like he addressed it like quick. He didn't take like forever. Yeah, come yeah. back and do it. It was like a few weeks. Yeah, and when he like addressed it, he literally said, "Yeah, it was me. Mm-hmm. That uh, it wasn't no deep fake. It was nothing." That and he made me. it funny too. Like yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. When he he's so like, I did not have sex with that man. <laughs> he said, I did not have sexual relations with that man. He's like, yes, I did. Oh, uh, perhaps I did. <laughs> I was like, sketch is funny, funny, bro. It was funny because he's like, you know what, guys. It was me. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, damn, it was. It's cool. But I was like, damn, what? Like, it was just funny the whole time when I was watching. It, I was like, this is this is just sketch. Yeah, yeah sketch, but sketch, he. Sketch, sketch. But a lot of people, a lot of people. When I tell you this, a lot of people, especially content creators, they will not admit that they did something. They won't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They'll keep on denying it until like 
more proof comes out, I give props to him because he's like, yeah, it, it was actually me. Yeah. yeah. Like, it wasn't no deep fake, no, like, nothing. It was me. And I was like, dang. They won't admit their wrongs, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. But let's get into the next topic. Since we was talking about people and them sketch not doing bad things, but there's a bunch of people, other people doing other things, like, you know, touching and all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the certified lover boy himself, Drake. And let's also talk about the Kendrick. Certified Peter uh, <laughs> You already know what's been happening. He just dropped a music video, Kendrick Lamar. Go yeah. check out that reaction video that I oh, did yeah. to the life. Not Go like check us. out the reaction. You know what I mean? Donnie, Donnie mm-hmm. you're doing his thing over there. Go check it reaction. out. Video will Reaction. be up there. Hey, also check out the gaming videos as well. Oh, yeah. Go check out the gaming Those videos. Those are really yeah, funny. Another night. Go check it out. Mm-hmm. Stuff. Ah, but let's go ahead and talk about the Kendrick and Drake music video. Have y'all checked it out? I did. It was a good music video. And the context clues to everything was hilarious. Yeah. My, my, the funniest part is when he was doing hopscotch. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, bro. He was just doing a little two-step on a hopscotch. That was funny. I didn't know his outfit that he was wearing. You know, that little white hat yeah. is from that uh, one vine where it's that one dude standing there and he's all like, your shoes, whack. Your the pants, shoes, whack. whack. <laughs> but me, I'm clean. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't know he was doing that reference too. And then I also didn't know when he was in that like darkish, like black and white area. Yeah, yeah. It was from uh, <laughs> when Drake was doing, uh, what is it called? I think it was Family Matters. Yeah. And I guess it was him like walking up, be- uh, that one dude that was walking up behind. And then he flew away. Uh-huh. I guess he was calling himself the Grim Reaper, Kendrick. Uh-huh. But yeah, it was crazy. Hello, keep talking. There's a package at the door. But yeah, no. Yeah, so when I was watching the music video, there was also that. And um, people that were face painted, the red and white, that signifies America. Funny enough, because um, it's America versus Canada. Yeah. Compton versus Toronto. Toronto. And then one thing is um, the, the clown that was in that music video, it's Compton native. Mm-hmm. And if you know, Hello. Hello. And then uh, Compton Native. And he's signifies a lot. He's also the one that created, a, what was it called? Crumping? You know what Crumping is? It's like that one that's where like, he's like, I don't, I don't want to do it because yeah. I don't want to embarrass myself for doing it wrong right now. It's all but good, it's, it's, all it's all Crumping. And he, he basically, not I, yeah, he invented it. And they're just Crumping all over. And then um, what else was there? There's a lot of more stuff in that music video. There's a lot. Uh, the one that a lot of people noticed a lot too was um the owl. Owl. Yeah. He was there's an owl in the cage and Kendrick was watching him the whole time. Yeah, that was a good context clue to like watching. You know what I mean? And yeah, then, he puts disclaimer: no owls were like. Yeah, then no owl. So oh, like, what else? Um, there's a lot in that music video too. There's the like owl, a lot. See, like so many, you know so many <laughs> details in this music video. Like Drake already lost the second he dropped out like us. Yeah. He dropped the music video. It's already like what two hundred plus million views. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been less than two weeks. Yes, bro. That's just that. I think he had like artists that Drake worked with in that video with him. Mm-hmm. Yes, bro. And I was like, yeah, Drake, it's over for Drake. Unfortunately, unfortunately, how does Drake come back from this? Like, how is Drake gonna? I heard he's still dropping, uh, he's gonna be dropping music soon. That's uh confirmed by DJ Academics that Drake is gonna be dropping music soon. And DJ Academics says it's fire, but he thinks every Drake is song is fire, you know. DJ Academics be right on everything, especially Drake's. Yes, everything, man. But there's, there's certain music, like, I feel like, man, I don't even like Academics. See, Somebody. DJ Academics is different. Uh, I watched this one thing. I guess he was beefing with a bunch of like artists. I think he had beef with Meek Mill. Uh, he was yelling at this one woman for something, but it's just like, you really finna square up with a woman? Like, mm-hmm. really? Like, that's kind of weird, you know? Mm-hmm. But uh, DJ Academics in general is an all right person. But with Drake, let's spin back. Uh, yeah, he's supposed to be dropping music. I'm not sure if it's going to be like subliminal messages or this to oh. Kendrick. Oh, there is. Mm-hmm. So There's going to be a lot. It's for sure like the first part two songs. Mm-hmm. Kendrick and then he's going to do whatever. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens see. with that. We'll see if it's a banger or not. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm mm-hmm. still team Kendrick. I, I'm i a California native. I stick to the roots. Same yeah. here. Go exactly. playing. But y'all got any other topics y'all want to talk about? Uh, let me see. Let me see. What what came up recently besides Kendrick? There was wasn't there like an incident a while ago? What incident? It was um besides Doctor Disrespect. There's another person. It was on TikTok. I gotta I gotta do my research right now. <laughs> y'all ad break ad break. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Let's get into a couple other questions while you're doing that real quick. Uh, let's play the game. Is it cheating? All right. Oh, my. Jesus, that reaction was. I was at work, and they was doing this all the time to me, and every single, who, man? I was just trying. He's is, is it cheating? Are you going to ask a stupid question <laughs> where you kept on asking me over and over? You asked me. I said, is it cheating? Look, look, look. Is it cheating if your girl hangs out with a boy best friend? All the time. Oh, I, I wouldn't really say cheating. Because, no, I've dealt with that before. And I've okay. known the person. They never cheated. And like I said, the one thing I've actually learned is I want to say let your, I mean, yeah, let your partner do whatever she, like they want. But obviously, they, you got to know. But the reason is for this is because if they wanted to cheat, let them cheat. Because then you'll find out. Personally, me, if if they cheat, let them do it, drop them. That part. Because I mean, like, drop like, them off. Like, we adults now. You can go hang out with your friends. If it's a dude, go hang out. I don't care. But if you cheat and I find out. Is he sassy? That's what I was <laughs> Is the dude sassy? He's sassy. Dude sassy. Oh, yeah. Like, if he's sassy, I'm like, all right. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Straight. But if he's like straight, I'm like, all right. Let me meet bro first. Let me hang out with him. He said, I'll be there with you. Exactly. Like, let me let me let me meet bro first. Let me hang out with him. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Make sure he's not weird. Cause there's some weird ass dudes. Yeah, I I've encountered one of the weird dudes. I don't fuck with him. <laughs> I don't fuck with him. And I told my girls, like, I don't fuck with him. I'm letting you know that right now. I told him, like, literally, I just told her, like, watch him. If he does some crazy shit, you let me know, but watch him. Cause they could be acting for like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I think like, I said like, that's a while back. Cause one thing is, my intuition is too fucking good. Too good. Too good. And it always, it always comes in clutch. <laughs> and, oh, I don't even be gaslighting. I already know the truth. I'm like, oh, I already know what you did. I know what you said, too. You said, I know what you about. Yeah, I would say if you know the person, like, both uh, man and woman in relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, like, straight up, like, oh, I'm just with the guy that's right. And you don't know him? Well, that's kind of sus. Yeah, okay. I understand that. All right. What? If, let's say, is it cheating if your girl is cuddled up with your with her boy best friend? Cuddling? Cuddling. Cuddling. Oh, yeah, no. Dog, no, no, no. no. <laughs> no. But, like, no. you're not there, you know, type stuff. But yeah, she's no, all like, no, yeah, no. me and him cuddle. No, 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 no. Just cuddling in general, just nah. Yeah. I'll blow your house up. What's wrong with you? What are you cuddling? Jesus. I'll blow your house up. What's wrong with you, stupid? <laughs> just blow down. Yeah, no. What's wrong with you? Um, I'm shooting everybody. Hmm. No, no. <laughs> I'm so, uh, shooting at everyone. What? Uh, what's another one? Is it? <laughs> is it cheating? What was that one that you told me, bro? There's a couple more, me? but no, Donnie. There's this one. You know which one it is. Is it cheating? If you smash your coworker, but you wearing a condom. Yeah, no, it's cheating, bro. What's it's so cheating. Cause listen, listen. <laughs> nah. I said it as a funny one. It it's was not, no, cause, cause listen, no, here's what happened, right? I was. I was tired. I was done with my OPU. It was probably like around 8.30. It was done for it. I was already done. And like everything was pretty much done from the fulfillment team. I was already like tired. tired. And then Donnie comes in and he's like, hey. Like, hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Is it cheating? And I was like, I looked at him. I was like, what are you going to say to me, Don? <laughs> and then you did. I, I don't want to show you what he did, but he did a move. He, he was like, if you just do it like this. Here, I'm like, well. That Don don't get up, bro. Don't get up. Don't get up. Don't get up. Don't get up. I was just saying, like, if you, no. nah, my bad. No, because because he's like, but the the, the rubber, like, no, but your balls is smacking on it. Nah, bro. Like, it's really not though. Like, your skin is touching the other skin, bro. But it's not. Like, it's a mind of its own. No, it's, it's not, not a mind, mind of its own, bro. <laughs> You, you, there's a chemical in your mind that interacts to the penis and then and no, no, nah, you don't even understand. <laughs> like, like it's not even my fault though. Like, no, it's your, bro, bro, <laughs> broski, bro. Oh, where the blood? Where the blood? Where am I? Oh, bro, but this is it? all jokes, bro. This is all jokes. It's all Obviously, jokes. This is cheating. But, like, but if you one of them, man, I will find you. No, I ain't finding you. I ain't finding you. Someone will find you because. <laughs> But you just literally just no, no, stop it, stop it. 
My bad. No. <laughs> Hey, where did no. you come up with these questions? I, just, I was <laughs> off the dome. Off I ain't gonna pull you. It what's just what's, a, good, what's another good one? What was the question you were talking about last night? What you're you like? About oh, oh, you're a threesome. Okay, yeah. so we talked about it before on the podcast, by the way. Mm -hmm. When I said threesome, yeah. So he said, "Would you have a threesome in your relationship?" I said, "No." For why? Like for why? Two like, girls uh, or. No, it don't matter who. Me it don't matter. Dude. Like that's still weird, it, regardless. Because I also yeah, I was like, it's weird. Like if I'm single, if I'm single, I have no relationship to anyone. I would, but if I'm in a relationship, I'm secured. I'm not sharing nobody. I gotta stay loyal. No, I'm I ain't gonna do sharing no, no one. I ain't doing no threesome. Exactly. And know. then one of my coworkers says like, "Yeah, I'll do it." I said, "Of course your weird ass would do it." <laughs> you know, hey, freak, yeah, boy. Freak. <laughs> you know, he knows who it was. You, you can whisper in his ear. But make sure that Mike cannot hear it. But but we already know who it is. Yeah. Nah, you, you tell, tell me later. You, you tell me later. You know, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. Tell you later. Well, freaky ass boy. <laughs> freaky ass. Nah, boy. but I, I will. I honestly wouldn't even do that, bro. That's kind of crazy. Not and honestly, you know, I was single. Like I would say, yeah, I would do it. No, nah, I'm pussy. <laughs> I'm pussy. I couldn't do it, bro. I'm pussy. I had, a, I had a inc not an incident, but there was a time I was invited to one. I said sure, and I literally went to go get like I went to an arcade. <laughs> he said, "Yeah, I went to an I'll arcade. be there in a bit." Hell no, I ain't gonna be uh, here in a bit. I was playing ski ball. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I was playing ski ball again, but I I remember. I got like a little toy, <laughs> and I was so happy that day. He said, "Let me get my tickets." And then I, I remember toy. going home. And I was like, "Damn, I could have," because I was a virgin. He said, "I could have," but I was like, "This is not like the best time to lose my virginity uh -huh. in a threesome." That's the crazy. I can't do that. Two girls, two girls. I was about to say exactly. I see another man's junk. I'm done for. Yeah, I'd be pissed off. I ain't trying. Like you know, I'm not trying to crush. And I see a bro go. <laughs> yeah, no. Feel me? He said, "Sorry." Exactly. Sir, your breath stinks. Sir, and then he tries to damn me up. Like, dad, me up. Turn away, sir. Unhand me. Nasty. What the heck? Nasty. What's another? What's another good? Is it cheat? Um, is it cheating? If she shares a drink with another man, shares a drink. Yeah. Like, like sipping out the same. Drink, like lips. Oh. And lips. I don't think it's cheating. Um, but it's like. You don't got no money? Like, you broke or something? Like, I give you some bread. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, you can't buy your own drink? Like, he said, no, we're just sharing the drink. Cause No, like, I could buy you a like, drink. I assuming, like, pass the bottle. Like, oh, you mean, no, like, no, 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 no. Like, 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 they yeah. share the cup. Like, share the cup. Like, Get your own cup. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, it's just drinks. Must, I would never do it. It's not cheating. Especially people these days, you never know what they put in that drink. Exactly. Yeah. It's not cheating, but there what's is a, boundaries. What's a good... There's, like, there's some in my mind, but I'm trying to figure it out. Is it cheating? There was this one time I was in the gym and there was a dude standing behind me butt naked. It was oh, crazy. no, me do. I went, I was. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, okay. So, here's what happened. I, I, worried, I worried about the arms and the shoulders. And then I was like, I got a shower because I got to come over here and I ain't trying to smell like balls and sweat. Uh -huh. So, then, you know what I mean? I got my bag, with my shampoos and stuff, and then I was in my clothes. And then I came out the shower. So, now, see, here's the thing, though. I saw this old man way beforehand. Mm -hmm. He was in the shower too. No, nope. right. And I was like, "All right, cool. I just hope I come out before he does, because I know he's gonna be butt booty naked." Mm. I get out. I'm dried up. I got my clothes on. I'm ready to go. I checked the time. I was like, "All right, perfect. I'll be on time for the episode." Yeah. No. Yeeks was out, bro. The Jeez. bro, the, the Yamin was. No. Nah. Yeah, you know I mean, was out, and I, I literally was walking, and I saw, bro. Why was he hard? Nah, yeah, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. Why was he hard, bro? Why was what? he hard? He and then, what? <laughs> nah. nah, what? Nah, he hopped out the shower, bricked, and he was old too. I was like, why are you hard? You can't be hard at the same. That boy popped the Viagra in the shower. He popped the blue chew. He popped, he the, popped blue the Viagra. Chew. He popped like, the blue chew like, in the shower. Like gray hair. Bro, bro, bald. Bald, uh, bald with the hair on the side. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like the crumb. Was it like Seinfeld? You ever watch Seinfeld? Yeah. Bald dude with a, he had that all white hair. And, bro, he couldn't walk, like, properly. And you would just, like, why, bro? That's, why? Why? Just, just wait till you get home. No, bro. I, bro, I live far. 
I should. Man, That's what I got. Punch I, him, bro. I, I, like, I got a shower. 20. No, Man. no, no! Listen, 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 listen! You should have sucker punched him. No, bro, I was about to fucking kick that shit, bro. Like, <laughs> I was about to destroy the man. Bro. Nah, the ball. The boy you're, gonna tr- you're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and then I look. This is what I had to do, bro. This is what I had. And bro, tell me why someone was playing a little baby when I was in the shower. No. What is going on? Exactly, bro. And I was and I, bro when he came out too. I saw the booth. I was like doing it. I look at it, I was like, bro, you are like 32. You have a 2017 playlist. Bro. He was on. playing, he was playing X It's a Y. Like he was playing that song. And I was looking at it, I was like, it's a it's a banger. But it's 2024. It's there's other music, my brother. But it's like, bro, bro, why are you you playing music out of your speakerphone, bro? I'm just trying to shower in peace, wash my hair, and then you just Bricked up. Go ahead to the. Bricked up, man. Stop not playing 2017. Oh, man. And then, the, bro, bro. Stop running, Jim. Oh, no, yeah, me personally. No, it's because I was in the corner. You know the lockers in the corner? Mm-hmm. Like where the showers are? Yeah, That's yeah, where yeah. I'm always at. See, but the thing is, is that me and him go to the same gym. So I got the same experience at the same gym, right? Yeah. It was me and my brother. We was putting on our headphones, getting ready to go to the uh, go workout, you know? And then this dude, he's standing behind us, butt naked. And I knew he was butt naked because there was a mirror, right? But he was standing behind me, and I couldn't see the junk, but I saw stray yeeks behind. And I was like, oh, no. He said, how are y'all doing today? How am I doing today, sir? What? Your sir, shit? yo, a- yeeks is out, and your balls is grazing my butt. Get up out of here, bro. It was Basically, wrong. like, why? Bro, why are they hanging? Y'all be going to. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing, bro? It's because it's when you go in the morning... You go in the morning. No, you go at night. Yeah, sometimes I go in the so morning. I go in the morning. It's all old heads, old heads to like thirty year old women <laughs> that need a man. Like, hey, Donnie, go in the morning. I got Hello, you, boy. I got you. <laughs> and then um, nighttime, there's people already like twenty year olds. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. there's just twenty year olds at the nighttime. Heads. Morning ten, like yeah, morning morning ten. <laughs> morning ten. What the heck, man? I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm the morning heads. The morning heads type of are, stuff. are up. And Adam, I'm one of them. And there's there's some people like my age in there, but it's mainly old heads. And they freak me out, bro. I was, man, I was working, bro. I got, I felt like I was being sexually assaulted. What? Because <laughs> so I was working out. Two women were staring at me constantly, and it was my last workout. And they were giggling, laughing. I'm like, bro, I'm just trying to work out. Why you staring at me? I ain't gonna lie. When people be doing that, I be trying to, I be checking in the mirror to see if like, I got I something it, bro, on my get, back or something. I have anxiety, dog. Can't be doing this to me. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm like working out. I'm like pumping like. Oosh. And I see them like because there's a mirror, right? The big mirror. Yeah. I see them both staring at me, and I literally do this. I drop my weight. I left. <laughs> I left. I'm done. I, 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 I was. I, I was pulling down. I'm looking, and they're staring at me. They're giggling. I'm like, I'm out. And I left. I swapped the like. I just have you ever worked legs and had to take a doodle before the gym? Yes. Right? So like, yeah. I take oh, a doodle, right? Coffee. Ooh. Use that as pre workout coffee? Yeah. Hey, yeah, them, them, them things wicked. I do the old style. Okay. That's yeah. true, though. That's a good style, but hey, it'd be wicked if you work legs. Mm-hmm. But there was one time, right? I had to take a doo-doo. Took that massive one, right? And I was like, stomach was bubbling. Hello. And then, you know how people be looking at you? Bro, I was scared. I was like, did I get something on me? You have ever had that feeling? You like, did I get some on me when I was wiping? Dude. Like that that's the scariest moment in your life because we got a staircase too, right? Going up to the top floor for oh, the gym. Yeah, and then you so it's like, like you gotta walk past everybody, go down the staircase, and people are looking at you like, uh, like who's this thing booty butt? You know, like what the hell is that? You know? Dude, you know, you know there's one crazy part was I It didn't I, happen. I have a funny story to tell y'all. So, <laughs> so I was at work, took a doo-doo. <laughs> I need to take a doo-doo. And then uh I put the toilet paper on the seat, right? Y'all can see where this is going. See ya. I get up. I didn't even know this. <laughs> nah, it was stuck to the jigs. It was stuck to the jigs. I put my shorts on. I put everything on. I mean, like, I'm walking to the OPU room. Before I can even continue, shout out to homie Alejandro. Mm-hmm. Okay. Heard that shit from my father. <laughs> <laughs> The homie Alejandro, right? He's like, hey, did you go to the bathroom? I was like, yeah. And he's like, hey, mama, want to take off that. And I literally was like, what? And I put it like right behind my back, took out the toilet paper, and I was like, 
I walked from the back all the way over here. Someone could have taken a video of me with the 12 year Like, it was like a, the perfect, like, cartoon situation. Nah. Happened. That boy said he's a furry. Exactly. He's got a tail. <laughs> Bro, and I was so. No, the thing is, I was so happy there was no doodle on it. Because it was the one I was sitting on. Nah. Yeah, that would be crazy. crazy. I ain't gonna lie. So, ever since I go to the bathroom at work, I literally, like, wipe down. Hmm. I do a perimeter check. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, me too. I go yeah. like this, check in the mirror, see if I got anything on me. Exactly, exactly. Like, like this, I'm like, all right, I'm I good. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. They're gonna put wipes in there. Straight, straight up. I buy a pack of dude wipes and I go up in there. I need to get some wipes for myself and like go in there. Because, bro, things be helping, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah. But have you ever had an experience at, like that? Yeah, really? Not at work. Yeah. Like at work, it's like stomach bubbles. You experience at work? When it comes to like the bathrooms, yeah, because like, I'm a guest attendant. What's the craziest thing that happened up in there, bro? Pretty sure you know, but it's whenever dude. I'm working, I'd say I'm outside getting cards. And then, you know what's bad? When they're like, we need you to do a restroom check. Oh, uh, yeah. Whenever I hear that, whenever like, can we do a restroom check? I'm like, oh, it's either one of many things. It's either one, like, there's just toilet paper everywhere. Oh, I remember this. I remember there's this. just like, it's just a mess in there. Or three, someone do it on the floor. You know? <laughs> you nasty com- bastards. How do you even miss the toilet? They're like, and. Keep in mind, I think there's three people like just waiting for me to get there. They're like, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> like straight out of a movie. Like, mm-hmm. I remember this, this shit. And they're looking at me like Philly Bell. They're like, what? What? Look at look at the look at the unisex restroom. The fat family restroom. Mm-hmm. I opened up, bro. It looked like a prank straight out of jackass. <laughs> like, hi. Like, there was literally doo doo like on the floor, bro. On the mm-hmm. toilet seat, on the wall. On the wall. Do you you what? not you, you don't remember this? Do like I don't remember on the. I remember uh someone did uh, spell their showed, name out. Somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody Man, showed was, me the dude. That was the other. I'm not gonna say his name, but like it that was, was, yeah, that was the men's restroom. I remember well, that no, somebody smeared oh, yeah. doodle all he up on the wall. His head, like on the freaking fingerprints wall. and all. But this one right here in the you on the floor on the toilet right, and on the, the restroom walls? that everyone always uses because that's the first one they use, right? Literally, I open it all open there. Like, how, I either, one, like, how stupid are you? And two, are you even body drained? Like, that. Yeah, he was fighting for his life up in there. So, like, I was like, are you, you fucking kidding me? Like, Come on. You gotta, like. That, that just fucks my day up. Hmm. up. You gotta, like, you know what you mean? Yeah, you, yeah, you, know you, you gotta pick it up out of the toilet and put it. No, not even that. You gotta, like, just, you could just squat down and uh, put it in your hand. That's nasty. Nah, bro, like, when it comes to that, dude, like, oh no, like, I put on, like, five pairs of gloves, put on, like, two masks. You can't pay me enough. Nah. You can't pay me I enough to like, do that. Hours. I remember yeah, I did go to the bathroom that day, and I seen um, the other guest attendant, and he's looking at me with the most shell shock face, because it's, like, halfway clean, and I didn't realize it. I was about to get pissed, and I'm like, <laughs> I, I turn and then I see the sh- I see the name spelled out with the shit and I was like yeah no nah. I, I was there. this was the time where there was a name on I think it was the other bathroom the 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 men's, the men's one okay. remember that yes that boy wrote his signature he wrote his signature. yeah he yeah. said from dot me <laughs> and I was like I literally looked at it and I was like dude what's going on like, I was what's like, going on in this town What's wrong with these people, bro? Y'all can't be real for real. Yeah, bro. Like, this can't be real. I remember when that happened, I literally was like, I got to, like, put my two weeks in. Uh, I got to find... Literally. I got to find somewhere else to go because I can't like, do this. Times. Were y'all were y'all there when uh, that one lady uh, doodled and got on, on the Legos? Yeah, no. I, that was before my, I was there. Yeah, that was wild. Yeah. She got it on the top shelf. Like, she go up there like... No. Like, no, she put it on there. Yeah, that thing had airtime. And there's all oh, uh, this was a couple months ago. Some I think it was a baby. No, no, shitted on the floor. No, the heck. See, it's times like that when I think about putting my two week notice in straight up. I toss that baby off a roof. What the heck? Kickball. Hmm. <laughs> well, literally, and like that situation, like you said, when it was smeared. <laughs> I remember, I was doing, I was opening, so I was about to clock out. Literally five minutes about to clock out. Guess I said it, but he drew in the men's restroom right away. I was like, what? Look in the restroom. I'm like, there's nothing. Go in the third stall. I open it. I I see some, like some weird dude on No. Luckily it was it hit 1050. It was like, no, no, no. It was like it was about like 159. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm out. 
Yeah, I'm clocking out. I'm clocking out. I ain't coming in, I bro. Little bath other car attendant. Like, hmm, forget all that. He won't catch me doing nothing like this. Car attendant go from bathroom. Go like, yeah, no, I'm not a janitor. I'm a person I pulling carts. Got me messed up. But let's get into some more questions real yeah. quick. We are 35 minutes in, so go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell for notifications. We'll be dropping a video. You already know the deal. We name this journey podcast, best podcast in my home. You already know, you the, know the deal. Deal, but. Man. I asked this question in the 4th of July episode. So we since we got Omar, we're going to go ahead and ask it for him, too. Do you think you could do a long-distance relationship? What's considered long-distance? Like long-distance. Uh, let's say... You got to fly or you got to drive? Let's, let's say drive. I would say... Hour and a half. Hour and a half? Hour. So you feel like you could do a long-distance relationship? Yeah. Cause me like when I'm in a relationship, I'm loyal. Like I got trust, you know. Yeah. And you ain't got trust, you ain't got nothing, right? Go yeah, real part. talk. And like you said, they cheat. They cheat. They you cheat. Won't find out. All right. Mm -hmm. I was not like, gonna fucking cry to you, like beg you, like no. <laughs> so yeah, like long distance. Nah, I, unless it's like an hour and a half. Maybe. Like an hour and a half. Uh. Because I'm used to driving like three hours. Because I go to Oxford a lot. Okay. LA. I can't do no damn long distance relationship, bro. And I. Yeah, but I used to talk to like I, girls out of state, like Indiana, like stuff like that. Stuff okay, like I've that. done that before. Talk to a girl out of state. Have y'all ever done that? Talk mm -hmm. to a girl out of state? Never again. Yeah. Dad, no, 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 no. Mama, I can't do that personally. I will not. I can't. Cause... But next question. Let's get into the next one. Uh, besides. What Julian told us last time about his friend putting doo doo in a jar. Uh, what is it? <laughs> Driving it to somebody's house. Uh, like, what is the, did, did what is the pettiest thing you've, <laughs> you've thing you've ever done? What's the pettiest thing you've ever done? He texted me. I, I forgot about it. He texted me and he said, I'm glad you didn't say my name because I think I would have done the same thing to you, bro. <laughs> and said, I would have threw it at you. I was like, bro. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? I forget when I told that story, I knew he would like call me. And he texted me, bro. He texted me and he texted he texted me saying, what the fuck wrong with bro? He literally said, on my damn homies, I'm gonna find you. <laughs> I said, I said, word, I said, word of blood, you ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> you ain't gonna do shit. He said, I'm gonna fill up a doodle, fill up a I literally told him. Fill up a basic drive. And then I FaceTimed face him and he's like, bro, why you tell the story? Like, did I say your name? That's exactly. Your name. He said, they won't find out who you are. I didn't describe you as a human. Like, I didn't describe you. Your, your facial features yeah. I just said yeah homie had a doodle in a jar <laughs> that was crazy bro bro literally yeah, told story really about like, that a mason he jar did he like light it up on fire throw it like God. nah he just, <laughs> <laughs> full of doodle is crazy with the seatbelt on the mason jar but besides that what is the pettiest thing you guys have ever done or would you guys uh pettiest thing you would ever do pettiest thing I got more now. I'm not gonna give you time. I got more. <laughs> let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yeah, I've never done the petty, but like you said, what? How, how petty? Like, uh -huh. How petty would you go? I'm doing the R. Kelly on the motherfucker. <laughs> what? No, I'm not. Hear me out. Hear me. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. I'm a. So listen, listen, right? Cats, Brody, right? Beat the shh. Yay, yay. And then he on the floor, right? I said, I'm going to spit on him. I'm like, hey, guess what? I drink a gallon of water. What? Like, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Federal crimes. That boy. Federal crimes. You're pissing federal on him crimes. after beating him up. You bind the curve with my peas on your hair. I'm doing, I'm getting petty. You know, you know what's more petty? You know what's more petty? What? Say this, right? Lock in. I'm still stuck. Lock in. Lock in. <laughs> He's got to go to a say, different say, country. Say, say, someone betrayed me, right? Mm hmm Here's what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. I'm going to call the ex. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's petty. Right. That's already I'm petty. I'm going to call the ex. I'm not going to do anything to her. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, hey, try to get him back. Damn. Try to get him back. One thing a man will, one thing a man fears is his ex coming back into his life. As you're already happy. 
I'm gonna do that. Cause oh. if, if shit go down like that, oh, I'm calling your ex, bro. Calling your the one ex that made ridiculous. you traumatize. Yeah, I'm calling her. See, that's how petty I'll probably be. Like, I'll just make up some shit. Like, oh, he said, like he. Mm-hmm. Hey, matter of fact, hey, matter of fact, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call your girl and say, hey, fake a pregnancy. No. <laughs> I'll get petty. I don't care. Put it in the floor. You'll find it. I ain't gonna lie. If anybody what? Else, what did you just say? What? Put it right there, like, on the doorway. Nah. No. I ain't um, gonna lie to you. If I ever had somebody do that to me, I'm hitting them with a school bus on everything a short one? I love. I, I, <laughs> not the short bus. one. I want the long one. No. So you get all of the wheels. But I'm getting a greyhound. I'm like, you get in each wheel. I'm getting a gray. I'm getting a greyhound. No. Yeah, it's a greyhound. I'm gonna say, but we just came back from a field trip. Nah. Boosh. You get hit with everything. I love. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. No, I, 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 I had thought about this one time. I was like, if I ever get cheated on again, right? Mm-hmm. God bless. I don't. All right. I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sit her down at a dinner with all her family and show the proof right in front of them, bro. <laughs> That's exactly. wicked. That's that's a uh, that I I would do that because when I did get you, I remember this. I literally called the mom. And I was like, "Hey, this is what your daughter did." Uh, and then I can literally hear her just say the name, and then she calls me, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, I'm, nah, I'm, I'm good. This, right? this is what your daughter did. That's I crazy. am literally Kendrick. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. What? I get petty though. I, that I'm seems really, petty. You I'm called. Calm. You nah, called yeah. the mother and said, "This is what your daughter did." That's wild. No, I, I, like, the fact that he said that. He, I don't like being betrayed, bro. Okay, I, I understand that. Like, but that's crazy. Still, no, yeah, no, you gonna get he everything. Said he's gonna take the whole family out. No, yeah, like I said, like I, they love me. Let me see if they let me see if they love you. Brothers, sisters, cousins, aunts, aunties. Look, I'm calling the grandma. Go call the grandparents. Oh, yeah. Granny? Yeah, I'm calling oh, grandpa too. too. Oh, she gonna find out. Ah, oh, no, that's crazy. <laughs> So, next question. I asked this in the last podcast. It's for you, my brother. How do you know when a relationship is over? Mm. Oh yeah, I remember answering this. Mm-hmm. When you feel like one side of like, like you know, like the man, the woman's not showing love or affection anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, let's say, like you start off like talking, texting a lot, type stuff. Like people like prefer texting more, so you have those longs or like calling more. Probably like when shit starts getting drier. Mm. Okay, like. You know, like, you're not really, like, yeah, like, hang out, like, let's say, like, y'all hang out, like, a lot, and, like, that's starting to slow down every now and then, like, now you barely see each other, like, yeah, mm-hmm. like, when, like, connection's not, like, showing no more, you know, mm-hmm. like, love and affection, you know. Okay, I understand that, for sure. What about you? I'm gonna let you answer this one, did too. You answer this one, though? Oh, like, he answered it basically. two weeks ago. I did. Uh-huh. Make sure you watch the episode again. Uh-huh. For the giant so, episode. Uh, if I remember it, I think it's um when the relationship ends is you feel the emotional and physical connection gone. So when it like like I said, my intu- like I said earlier, my intuition is really good. Is a thing called the three week period where your partner just slowly dies out. Okay. Everything she used to do or he used to do or they used to do, they stop doing it. And you realize those texts become drier and when you're in person they don't really show as much. Okay. So you just like, like you feel lost and you start getting like that anxiety. Like you get your panic attacks. So everything happens. And that third week comes in and you realize she hasn't been texting as much. And when she says good night, it's no hearts on it. No, I love you. It's just good night. <laughs> and you can't say anything about it because arguments. And then the time comes where one of you decides, you know what? I'm done. I don't want to deal with your bullshit. It's over. Because one thing is, if you are tired of your partner, just let it go it. at that moment. Just say it. Yeah. If you don't want to fix it, please let it go. Because you do not want to drag that person. Because you feel like it's better for them to still be in a relationship. But you're not in love. Yeah, no. Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Like, you. Like, leave. I was trying to book. That was a different level of Leave. <laughs> For real, it's cause it's tiring, bro. It's tiring. <laughs> it's tiring to see, cause I've dealt with that, and then I've dealt, like see my friends, my honest, true best friends, my brothers, go through shit to the point where I had to tell the girls that, hey, 
break up with him, bro. Because what are you doing with him? Like right now, why are you why are you doing this to him? Yeah. I personally will call my sister to beat your shit. Oh, wow. Because you are dirty, nasty. Like I said, I get petty with it because stop hurting people. I don't like it. Just stop hurting people. That's true. I don't have any ideas for pettiness. Oh, yeah. Give me ideas, man. I got you. Don't worry. Oh, Uh, hell no. Yeah, it's just, I don't like people that hurt people. Yeah. No, sorry. Is it mentally? I could fuck up like someone real bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like sometimes I'll be I'll be unserious. I'll say some fuck shit, but I apologize. Yeah. yeah. I that's apologize. understandable. Real talk. But that's basically all the questions I got for this podcast. Yeah, we already 45 A's. minutes in. I got some questions. You got oh, some questions? Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, Omar. All right, what's your top this three is the Omar artists section. of all time? Huh? Top three artists of to all time. Top three artists of all time. Uh, Juice World is already uh in my top three. I'm not even gonna lie. He would be hating on Juice World, but Juice World is tough to me. Like this is one of my favorite song. artists before he passed away. Rental. Yeah, Rental is my favorite song from Juice. Yeah. Yeah, Rental. Okay. That's a good song. So what you say? Just Juice World. I say Juice World is in my top three. I would say uh I'm trying to think of somebody that was like I was always listening to Lil Wayne. Mm. And then third one, I'ma say I'ma say Drake. Cause Drake is like, hey, chill. <laughs> like I'm only I'm only saying Drake is Can't because Drake. I grew up to I grew up on like Drake music because you know he was in the young money yeah. uh yeah. uh group and everything, you know? Yeah. I'ma say rap artist for rap. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, for me, it was it's King Cruel, Tyler Creator. Okay. This is hard because I'm between either Michael Jackson, Ooh. Be that. Marvin Gaye. <laughs> okay. Or Suicide Boys. Suicide. My boys. voice cracks so bad. Hmm. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I will find you, <laughs> bitch. I will find you. I'm a chicken wing soldier. I'll get active, motherfucker. I'll get active on your bitch ass. Ah, oh, fuck. Cause this, cause I listen to all of them all the time. I gotta say Michael Jackson, cause um, Mike Jack the best. I'm gonna tell y'all a little cute story. It's a little cute story. I was in third grade. Oh, uh, there's a. <coughs> My bad. Done it. Oh, I was in third grade, and there was a talent show, and. Uh, I do, like I did the thing. Mm-hmm. I won first place. And I did the whole Michael Jackson. Um, what was it? Michael Jackson, Billie Jean choreography. Oh. I did the whole thing, and I won. And I'm just going crazy. I was nervous, and then I started busting out like a moonwalk Ooh. and I did the spin move with the like that. <laughs> and okay. I and I killed it. And I had the hat on too, and I threw that bitch to the crowd. Okay. And then I went to go get some Chinese food. Awesome. He had all awesome. the but yeah, home. King Cruel. Tyler Creator, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. What about you, Omar? Let's hear about it. Let's hear what about I was, it. Uh, for me, I'm going to say The Weeknd. The Weeknd. Mm-hmm. Let's get artists. I grew up listening to like The Weeknd. Like, back when they had like, the weird ass. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right? Like the, with the Freeforms? <laughs> oh, yeah. That, yeah the, the ceiling fan. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to say The Weeknd, number one for me. Number two, I'm going to say 50 Cent. 50 Cent. 50 okay, that's cent. a good one. That's, that's a, good a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Because it's 50 Cent. I mean, bottle for the book. I know what you mean. <laughs> Time between Snoop Dogg or Michael Jackson. Snoop Dogg or Michael Jackson. Those are good ones too. I ain't gonna lie to you. Snoop Dogg is cool. But I wanna listen to him all the time though. No, for real. For real. Me, like no, nah, like he becomes like, oh Snoop. Hmm. But Michael Jackson comes out, I'm going crazy. See, I wanted to say yeah, groups, but I know that I'm just really into like No, you can say your favorite your favorite group. Mm-hmm. You can say your favorite group. Your favorite artist right here. Mm-hmm. Favorite group, whatever. Favorite group, Ao and Tao. No, I'm playing. Mm. Um, <laughs> oh, bro, when I didn't run hey, it's 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 it. I was like, who's Ao and Tao? <laughs> Dude, I remember I wanted that mask so <laughs> bad, bro. Yeah, the panel one, like, yeah, the, yeah, panel one. Panel look, bro. Everybody was wearing that, bro. I needed that. I remember when Kobe came around and people had that shit. I was like, bro. I was like, that thing. I said, leave it back then. Leave it back what then. What did they do? <laughs> But group, you can say oh, yeah. groups, bro. You hear grupo? Group, group. Number one, my outside favorite are Los Lobos de Bebes. Mm-hmm. What'd you call me? <laughs> you know what I said? <laughs> I'm like, what'd you say? Los Lobos de Bebes. They're more like an old, like, 
Corridos type. Yeah. My, yeah, dad, yeah, yeah. my dad really loves them. Like, he hooked me up on that. Number two, I'm going to say my uncle's group, Jaime Fernando. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Because, like, he grew up watching them play music, and, like, they're really good now. Mm-hmm. Number three... Just to let y'all know, I don't understand anything that is going on right now. It's okay. It's uh, okay. But, like, I'm here to listen. Yeah. I'm a great listener. Quit playing. Shake a little digging. <laughs> Shake a little digging. Anybody say bless you? Number three. <laughs> so many You know, I'm just saying, Fuerza Regina. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. I that, think my. It's, it's, not gru- it's not Grupo, but it's a, it's a band. Yeah. Mana. No, yeah, she does Group. Oh, he does? He does Mana, but it's Group. Oh, shoot. Hey, that's a good one. Uh, right. uh, this yeah. one's like. Like rock, Mexican rock. It's okay. mana. mana. Yeah. Mexican rock, dude. Hey, it's a banger. It's a banger, dude. They got Mexican rock. And there's like music? there's Mexican rock and there's like Mexican like dark core. No, what it is, but what's it called? Um, it's a band. It's called uh, oh Depression Sonora. You don't know what that is, but Depression Sonora is like a like a little indie, darkish. I don't know what it is. I'll show you it, but it it sounds like. It's not Russian music. Somewhat similar. Say Russian music? Russian? Not like, so there's, like there's, a, there's a thing called like, like dark core, whatever it is. I don't dark know. Core? Yeah, I gotta, I'll show y'all it. If you know, you know, you probably search it up, but I'll show them like after this. And they'll be like, oh, you feel me? Y'all on a different level of like, I got a lot of exploring music. the music. I got a lot of music. Yeah. That's I listen, crazy. I, but I listen to Japanese pop, like, like, not, like 80s Japanese pop. Japanese pop. Yeah, like old Japanese. Like, like Honestly, that sh- that, it, it is low-key kind of hard. Cause yeah, I was, I was, yeah, was it? You know the show? Uh, uh, His name is Ippo. Yeah. Yeah. It's a boxing anime, mm-hmm. right? The songs, the intro songs is a banger. I ain't gonna hold you. I'll be, be like, I ain't gonna hold you. I need that. Bro, you know what's up? You know what's my favorite like Japanese show growing up? Hmm. Dorimon. Dorimon? Yeah. You what's know what's up? The one? cat? The cat, the blue cat. I think I know what you're talking He's about. He's like a big though. blue cat, and then, um, they made one recently too. It was like part of like 2016, 2014. It okay. was on Disney too. It was on Disney XD. It's called Dorymon. And there's like a kid with glasses. They screwing over the big red dog. No, 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 no. This was like original Japanese. So. Cause it's like b- big blue cat, big red dog. This is a gang rivalry. Blood and Creel. <laughs> 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 nah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about with the blue yeah, uh, that's big blue cat. Hey, hey, shit was hard. Shit it was, hard. it was, was hard. But was hard. you know what's also another banger, like uh, anime's uh intro. I mean, anime intro. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hunter X Hunter. Yeah, yeah every time I hear started. that, bro, I'm like, it's time to watch the best show I've seen, it, bro. I wish I was really inside of it, like you know. Well, bro, bro, you, you got to change. Just get, man, we gonna try. We gonna give you a I list. Tried. When I tell you that I didn't, I couldn't do anime, and the first anime that I watched was Naruto, right? That's why. And I, Naruto was hard, but it took too long. The fight scenes was going into Ooh, each. Yeah, that's three why three those three those three filler three. episodes, and you gotta get to the important ones. Like I tried mm-hmm. watching Naruto, Dragon Ball Z. You know what's a good one to start with? I think everybody can start with this one. Pretty. <laughs> I was like SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Anime, dog. It's it's an animation. I say because one anime that I remember everyone can get hooked on, so you can start watching anime. Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. Yeah. Yes. If you really want a good storyline with a whole lot of action, that is the one. Bro, you when I tell you the plot twist, I think it's around season two and three. Everything comes like unfold. Yeah, it's, it's so so mind blowing. Because then you gotta read, like you gotta go back to the original ones. And then you gotta see the whole context clues. Mm-hmm. It's fucked up, but it's so good. It's so good. And then the fun, like, it's already done. The anime's done now. Mm-hmm. Crazy shit. Bro. Crazy ending too. And you're Crazy like, damn, ending, bro. bro. Sad too. Because the main character just changes up. That's all I'll say. He changes up, and it's mm-hmm. crazy. If it's you want to watch a whole lot of fighting, watch Baki. I just put my little brother on Baki. Oh yeah, Baki. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. They clobbering each other, ripping their faces mm-hmm. off type stuff. Mm-hmm. And if you if you want to watch something chill, not chill, but it's a good amount. Blue Exorcist. Okay. Blue Exorcist is really good. It's a uh, exactly in the name Exorcism. Mm-hmm. My bro is like fighting demons. It's hard. Um, you want to watch good animation? Jujutsu Kaisen. That one is tough, tough bro. Tough. If you want uh, something mind boggling, Death Note. Death Note. Death Note 
and erased. Erased. Yeah. Well, erased will make you probably cry. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, question. Because I know some animes, they do like a live version of it. You know what I mean? Oh, don't watch the live version. Don't let ever watch the live just, version. Just watch just the watch anime. The anime and the Death Note anime is on Netflix. For anyone that has watched that Initial D, you know what I'm talking about. Never again. They did a live action of Initial D. It was cool, and then it just turned weird. Mm. Fighting and stuff. Oh, Initial D is a drifting anime. If it's you, about cars. cars. If you want to see something goofy, but actually has really good fighting, yeah. Black Clover. Black yes. Black yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, like like on the come up type yeah, fighting. Yeah. And if you want to just see some crazy shit, a comic got kill. In comic got kill? A comic got kill. I need to check that out then. That's a it's it's like I think that just sounds Japanese. I never it's, heard it's that hard. One. It's hard. Hmm. It's fucking hard. I need to check out uh Berserk. Oh, and then if you want to oh Berserk. You mm-hmm. haven't watched Berserk yet? Bro, I haven't got the you gotta get watch into Berserk, it. I've bro. been stuck on uh I was watching I just finished Epo literally last night. Mm-hmm. Like I've been like stuck on a lot of uh, good ones right now. Yeah, no, watch it. And then my favorite anime of all time, Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop. Okay, it yeah, yeah, is yeah. my favorite anime of all time. It's a '90s anime. It is perfect. I love it. I'm so. By the way, my birthday's in two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. July 24th. Yeah, I'm gonna know. get my first tattoo. Real talk. Real talk. What you gonna get? I don't know yet, but I want to get either the Cowboy Bebop tattoo mm-hmm. okay. or a tribute tattoo. Okay. Or just some random. Okay. Real talk. That's- Oh, you get it on right here, right, right there. Right. Real talk. And everyone's like, "Well, your first tattoo's gotta be somewhere like, per- like, bro, I, I'm gonna be a blue collar." They do not care about tattoos and blue collar. Yeah, they don't. They, there's man, there's people face tatted doing wires in your house. Real talk though. I ain't gonna lie. We ain't, we ain't like like that. Hmm. That's what I'm gonna get. Like, I'm gonna get this tattoo probably like right here. It's not gonna be big. What would you realize you want to get a tattoo like? Right oh, right, since I was 18. Like, Damn. Oh, like, uh, what? Like, what, like yeah. yeah, I never got one. Because I was like, it costs money. But I didn't realize I could just get one. Mm-hmm. Like, I can get one now. Like, I literally, I can literally go get one right now. But I was like, nah, I want to wait perfectly timed. And what better way is when I turn 20 and get my tattoo. Real tough. Yeah, I remember. Put the happy birthdays in the comments for him. You already know the deal. Sam. I remember when I turned 18, I was like, I want to get tattooed already because I already know what I wanted. Yeah. What was this? Mm. I got my first tattoo at 18. Yeah, and it was this piece right here. Mm. Minus yeah. the dogs and minus the uh, lovers one. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Lover loser. Little drum sticks and a music note. Yeah. And then like two months later, when I got this big piece. Yeah, I want to. I want to get patchwork done, not full sleeves. Yeah, so yeah. Should yeah. be random tattoos everywhere. I ain't gonna lie, mine was patchwork until I told him to fill it in with clouds. I was like, it, it just don't look right on my arm, you know? Yeah. Because there's some tattoos that look good on uh, certain people, and then other tattoos you're just yeah. kind of like. Uh. I I thought about getting a treehouse. Treehouse? treehouse? Oh, yeah, for Treehouse Club? Yeah. I thought Check out Treehouse tree, Club. Like a nice treehouse. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I want an anime tattoo so bad. Anime tattoos are tough. Because I, I, I... Not colored, right? No. I was like, color colored tattoos, tattoos is kind of crazy. No, I don't want color on my shit. All, all of them, I want to just be black and white. Yeah, I don't like colored like tattoos like that, bro. Not my favorite. So I want to get either anime tattoo. Uh, The tribute tattoo is going to be for my grandpa. Yeah. It's to be a coffee mug. Ashtrays up front with his dates, and it's gonna be a cigarette ashed on it. Okay, and that was gonna be it. Oh, that would be cool though. Yeah, and then on the on the mug it says his name. Oh, that would be cool. That'd be cool. That'd be a tough tattoo though. That'd be a tough yeah, one. Sure. Speaking of Treehouse Club, when's the new drop comes? Uh, hey man, hey shit, shit, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I do have some shit in the okay. work. Uh-huh. I've been keeping a secret. It's because, in all honesty, not even just being lazy. I been, they've been working my ass. <laughs> they've been working my ass. Mm. And I barely have some time. I'm, bro, I'm so happy right now. I have today off and tomorrow off. So I'm going to get some stuff done. But there's some little side side projects I have mm-hmm. I can just throw out. I ain't going to tell y'all when they're going to come out, though. Because that's how the Treehouse Club works. You, gonna, you just got to be, mm-hmm. be there. So I might just drop a hoodie tonight. He might just. just me. I might just drop a hoodie tonight, and you just gotta be there. Exactly. That part. And I ain't gonna lie to you. First come, first serve. Limited. First come, huh? It's only limited. Limited. Huh? Limited drop. You already know the, the deal. The shirts. Except limited. I don't. I'm not gonna tell y'all when. Just be ready. Just be ready. Just be ready. I said this like two months ago. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> he said it's coming. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> That's what it is, man. Yeah, man. I got one more question. Though. One more. 
Let's get it. So let's move on to fighting things. Mm -hmm. What's one boxer you would not want to fight and one boxer you think you could take? Floyd Mayweather. I'm not fighting him. Mm. Because he the the more you see him punch, the more angry he gets. I think uh that's what KSI's brother said, Deji. Deji. He said, yeah, he thought that uh Floyd Mayweather was gonna take it easy on him. And then uh he hit him with a nice jab and Floyd Mayweather smiled at him and went even harder. And I was like, Hell no. Oh, Floyd May like he might be small and he might not be able to read. But <laughs> at the end of the day, Bro is if you can read a coloring book. <laughs> you know what's small? People cruise, bro. Like, bro's like five cents. No, you know who I ain't gonna fight, bro? Canelo. Uh, yeah. I can't. No, no, no. 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 no bro, I can't fight him, bro. Because I. No, bro. No, I can't. I can't. But someone I can't fight? Shit. Hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Barack Obama. My bad. Jake, um, <laughs> Jake Paul. Nah. Jake Paul. Hey, nah. he low key got some heaters too. And, he got some and a lot of weight. Ain't no way. I, I can throw it down with him. I'll throw it down with him. I could. He, he just gained a good amount of weight to put that muscle on for that Mike Tyson fight. But then it got. Put your money on Tyson. It got bro, pushed why back. Still, why is he still fighting? Bro, I ain't going to lie to you. Why is he still fighting like old people? I don't. He used to fight boxers, not. Retired MMA fighters. Mm -hmm. I think yes. he's a good fighter. I think Jake's a good fighter. But mm -hmm. I want to see him fight like actual like. He's being oh. everybody that he's uh that he won against were retired UFC thirty fighters. or thirty five and up, and either retired UFC fighters. Yeah. I think the first boxer that was like twenty five. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Or yeah, he lost to. Yeah. Mm. Everybody else, he's he's won, mm. and they were like thirty five and up. And who's he fought? He's fought. He fought. Give Nate Robinson, Willie, talking about Willie two times. Mm -hmm. I forgot about Anderson, Nate Robinson. And then he fought Anderson Silva. I really thought he was going to lose against Anderson Silva. I'm Me not going to lie. And, and then, then when he got that knockdown, Perry. I was like, that's crazy. Uh, he's fighting Mike Perry, I think, next. But the Tyson fight, I, I saw it. I was like, I heard it's getting pushed back to November. It is. It already got confirmed. Mm -hmm. But like, literally, like, bro, really, Tyson was fought. Yeah. So, but you said that you could, you could take Jake and you would not fight Canelo? Yeah, no, I'm not fighting Canelo. Who did you say? You said you wouldn't fight for him, but who would you take? Pause. Uh, Probably Jake Paul. <laughs> I just heard it like a second time, and you said, you said you would fight them, but who would you take? And I was like, Pause. take what? <laughs> no, not the diddler. No diddy, bro. Not the diddler. <laughs> but yeah, I said Jake. I think I could take Jake low key. Actually, I choose Logan. I feel like I could choose. I could take Logan Paul in a fight. Yeah. yeah. Me, I would not want to fight either Jake. I don't Jake. I was like, what? I, I would not want to fight Mike Tyson or Woo! or Canelo. I really wanted to say I wanted to fight Canelo, but now nah, I'm gonna die. Yeah. I would. I think I could take a fight against Jake. Yeah, most definitely though. Good fighters though, but. We are an hour and three minutes in. Thank you for listening to the Nameless Journey Podcast, best podcast in my home. Uh, you already know the deal. This is my guest for today. His name is Omar. Go ahead and check him out on all social media platforms. That is my co-host down there, Julian. Chicken wings. Soldier, you already know the deal. Shout out to Kai. He is still on vacation, and he has gotten a new job. So continue to let him do his thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe he'll come back soon. You already know the deal, but let him continue to do his thing. So go ahead and show him some love and follow him on all social media platforms. You already know the deal. TikTok, Instagram, you know the deal. Uh, so thank you for watching the Name of Journey Podcast. Best podcast in my home. This was a great episode. I had fun with y'all. Thank you for showing up for the podcast, you guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we'll catch y'all later. Deuces. Damn, Jaybird.